Welcome back to 843 TV here at the Beaufort County in their very nice channel studio. And now we're going to be talking with Brad Moult uh, more about the affordable housing and about community works and yes. how that will operate. Gotcha. Yeah. So let's start with that. Uh, how will that housing trust that we just referenced in the previous segment, how will that actually work? Yes. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of backstory about mm -hmm. Community Works. Uh, community Works is a nonprofit uh, statewide uh, community development financial uh, institution. Uh, it started back in uh, 2008 as the Greenville Housing uh, Trust Fund. Um, again, I'm just kind of giving you a backstory as far sure. as uh, yeah. um, our experience with uh, um, housing trust funds. Um, so uh, the city of Greenville, uh, Greenville County Redevelopment Authority, and um, uh, United Way Greenville uh, partnered together to start the uh, Greenville Housing Trust Fund in 2008. Um, during that time, also during the economic downturn in 2008, what came out of that uh, was the need for more financial services, um, more specifically for uh, alternatives to uh, those who are applying for uh, payday loans. Um, they're needed they're out of the 2008 uh, economic turn, uh, downturn. Um, there also was an uh, uh, um, opportunities for more financial assistance for um, uh, women and minority entrepreneurs. Uh, so, so yeah, so the uh, Greenville Housing uh, Trust Fund uh, kind of more moved towards uh, community works. Uh, community uh, works started to offer more uh, services. Um, and so that kind of was where it started as far as experience with uh, the housing trust funds. Um, and uh, in 2018 uh, uh, was when the uh, Re Greenville Housing Housing Trust Fund was re relaunched. Um, and also in uh, um, 2020, uh, the Spartanburg um, Community Works partnered with the city of Spartanburg to um, start the uh, Spartanburg Housing Trust Fund. Mm -hmm. So, so those um, over 14 years of experience. Um, Community Works has over 14 years of experience. Of, um, so now you're going to be trust helping to develop this in, right here in Beaufort County yes. and all the zones. Uh, what is a realistic timeline that people can expect? Yeah, so we uh, we, we, we um, introduced a 90-day uh, work plan last last month. We're working through that uh, um, work plan now. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, one of the items that we want to wanted to accomplish within that work plan was to sit with, uh, as Eric mentioned, was to sit with each of the eight uh, jurisdictions mm -hmm. or partners um, to find out more specifically what uh, what it is that they need in their communities. For example, Beaufort uh, may need have different needs than Bluffton and Bluffton may have different needs than Hilton Head. Right. Um, so we're finalizing those one on one meetings with the uh, with those eight partners. Um, also, within this month, uh, we all we already had each municipality uh, uh, give a representative or a member um, to to the uh, uh, oversight board. So there's a housing trust fund oversight board that's going to be uh, um, established, uh, and so mid December we're going to meet with that housing trust fund oversight board um, to discuss the roles and responsibilities. Um, and then we're going to move towards a uh, January for an official launch of the housing trust fund, uh, kind of mid-January. Um, so that's kind of a timeline so far that what we have in place. In this discussion, would you be determining you know where to start in the county? Because as you said, you got Buford has certain needs, Hilton Head Island has certain needs, Bluffton, and so forth. Is that going to be part of the works, or will these project kind of work simultaneously? Where you, I don't, you may not have gotten that figured out yet, but is there any insight on that? So if I'm listening and I'm, hey, I'm living on Hilton Head or I'm a business owner, yes. you know, or, or I want to move there, what might be, what can the public expect? Yeah, so, um, so uh, again, we want to have uh, uh, the oversight board in place first after the launch in uh, uh, January. Mm -hmm. and then we'll actually have that uh, team of board members to come back together and uh, kind of spell out more of the uh, 2023 priorities for the housing trust fund um, along and as Eric mentioned you know within the first second quarter of 2023 is when um, some projects will probably be financed um, again with that oversight board they'll be taking a look and uh, looking over the applications uh, reviewing the applications as well as um, uh, making recommendations for funding with your past experience and projects in different areas how have you found that to be effective? Like, how could we expect that that will, 
you know, work here as well. So well, again, with the uh, with our experience with the Greenville Housing uh, Trust Fund, and then also with the Spartanburg Housing uh, um, Trust Fund, uh, we have that experience um, uh, um, of starting those. And then uh, also we have the um, capacity um, staffing wise, you know, Many, many of the staff members have been there for years, so they kind of mm -hmm. know, know exactly uh, um, the ins and outs of starting a housing trust fund. Got a gauge on the, the yes. community and what the needs are. So yes. well, I know this has been, again, as we mentioned with Eric, just a long time, very important need in our area. So it's exciting to know that it's finally the ball is rolling forward in that. So that's yeah. been, this is great to know. And I know the public is going to be very interested in finding out more details. So Yes, and I, and I would like to mention just a few more things. Um, so, so for those uh, um, uh, developers who may be asking, you know, can I access funds from the uh, housing trust fund now? Um, again, we want to have that uh, advisory board in place, uh, um, and then we'll actually um, be able to see at that point exactly what we're what we'll be able to offer. We won't. Um, we're not quite sure we'll be able to. We don't have any grant opportunities at this time, mm -hmm. um, but we do. Of course, community works um, is well established, um, and we have uh, um, funding um, uh, other, and other investors as well. Um, so we're right now we're actually able to. Um, um, offer any, some type of financing um, for developers who may be ha who may have projects on the ground now who may say you know how how can I access some funding right now so so there's a lot to be continued yes. and uh, we're out of time for this segment but we look forward to watching this progress uh, and, and unveil and for you sharing all that knowledge and thank you for your help in, in this for sure for our thank area you. needs thank you. y'all stay right here we'll be back.